In today's video, I will be doing some price analysis on engine. We have hit some all-time highs today, so it's definitely worth checking out some, some new key levels that we could target for some entry points. And then if we are going into a bit of price discovery mode, some targets going forward. So first up, please make sure you do hit that like button, that you are subscribed to my channel, and let's crack on. <music> So hello, welcome to Operation Crypto. I just want to start off by just taking a quick look over SwissBorg. I'm currently stacking USDC on SwissBorg. Um, everything I get, which is profit, I'm sending it over to there and then turning it into a, um, a yield contract. If you just look down here, these are the available assets that you can earn returns. It's very similar to staking. We know what yield farming is. Um, I'm holding USDC just due to the, the amount of the standard APR, currently 11.95%. I'm earning just by holding on SwissBog, and that is daily. Um, you get daily payouts every morning around um, 8 a.m. UK time, so that's GMT. And at some stage um, in the future, I will be a premium membership. Currently, to be a premium member, it's 50,000 um, CHSB, which is their, their token there. Um, but it will be dropping down to 2,000 at some stage in the future. So I've got myself 2,000 CHSB. Um, that will be just holding there now, so for when premium comes. And then we have the, um, the USDC. So if I can get 23% per year by holding USDC in my wallet, which will be a great return, getting that daily amount, no lockup. Um, so I think things will start to look um, very good for that when we come to a bear season eventually. So that is just um, a brief look on SwissBorg and letting you know what it is a good option to look at um, if you're looking to get a passive income. Um, you will find a link for that in the pinned comment and the description. So let's get talking about engine. Currently we are creating new all-time highs. We're currently at $3.33. Let's have a look at the all-time high down here. $3.43, so we're like an hour ago. We've we have hit those highs. We are doing a little bit of retracement, but um, we'll have a look at it on the charts in a second. If you are looking to get hold of some engine, look at that. Binance is getting predominantly most of the volume. You can even get on Binance US for US citizens um, if it is available in your state. But we have on a lot of other exchanges, Bittrex, Gemini, um, Gate.io, Bittrex again, Qcoin. Some massive exchanges out there. Um, I've been trading Engine, not recently, but for the last two years. I got in it quite early and it was quite wicky. I mean, it, it moved up and down a lot and I did manage to make a few quid on that. But trading aside, it's a solid asset. I mean, they were one of the first ones to bring out NFTs, which were called collectibles back then. Um, so it's a solid asset built for blockchain gaming as well. So we've got a lot going on. And like I say, it's, it used to be actually um, a company. Um, I'm not sure if it was trading on a stock market, but it was a, a company before it became a crypto. So it has been around quite a while, Engine. If you look at maximum supply, it's 1 billion. And 83% of that's... Um, supply is in circulation market cap today 2.7 billion dollars if you just look at the charts this is currently the, the btc dominance chart let's just zoom right out into daily this um is dropped below this support level at 57 percent we was at 62 and this is good for alts this is good for engine this is good for any bags you're holding that is not btc because things are starting to look good there's been lots of talk of alt season and I think that we have lost this level now. This is a clinical area. If we do push down to 52% and then lose that, you will know about it because all alts will be flying. Currently, engine has been flying. Also, look at this on the, um, the daily candle. I mean, last time I think I did some analysis. We had some consolidation around this zone, so we have broke out of that consolidation now. Um, well, I've hit those all-time highs and retraced a little bit, but it looked like it's going to push up and start aiming for that soon. If we just look at this fib I'd from last time, so this fib was from the bottom of that move up to the current all-time highs. We did a 50% retracement. If you look at this level here, we pretty much didn't f come anywhere near the 618, which is the area I usually like to target. But we are pushing on. We've come back, picked up some liquidity, and look at that, boom, two daily candles, all-time highs. But we just need to be aware of you that things can retrace. So let's just have a look at a four-hour time frame. Um, by the way, the MACD rate is looking very, very bullish. We was in a, a bearish phase for pretty much, I mean, coming up to two weeks there. 
Now we have that crossover on the moving averages there. If you look at that, we had a crossover there. We had a first tick up into the black on the histogram. So that's looking good. Um, RSI is slightly overbought, but that's what we want. We want it to stay in the red. It can go up to 100 for all I care. Stay up there and cre keep creating some new all-time highs. But let's have a look at some potential buy zones. This is the move that we are now concentrating on. This is the new spike for two daily candles. Boom, straight up. So let's have a look at some investment opportunities or trading opportunities. So if we just put a fib on from the bottom of the move to the top, which is the all-time highs. If I'm ever looking to buy a project that's done quite a significant move up, I usually look to target this level here at $2.92 and this level down here at $2.58. If you are wanting to buy some uh, but not put the full amount there, break your order down, lad your orders down from this point here, two or three orders down to this point. So anywhere from, I mean, you could even go down towards this wick here at $2.42 and then $2.50, $2.62.70 and try and pick some orders up in and around there get a nice average for all your orders that you put in don't just lump in in one i mean there's no harm in doing that but you can get a better bang for your buck if you you do place some orders laddered down so that is a couple of levels for you to target in terms of price um, entries if you're looking for some exits and some profit taking i think this is the first level at 386 and then we have four um 37 my first target i've already got it on here with five dollars i think that is a probably the, the first major major target to push to once we do get through real time highs and i will do some further price analysis once we do hit that level so that is some potential buy zones there ladder some orders in it's looking quite bullish the the, the daily is definitely looking bullish after that spike up and um, so i think we can really start to gain some momentum and push up to those um, higher targets so what i want to do next is have a look at the btc pair i think i've got engine btc on here somewhere there we go uh, let's just get rid of that ta um, we'll drop into the daily again so there we go the histogram looking very very bullish as well nice bullish cross and moving averages a tick to the upside on the histogram too so that is looking good i've already got the fib on here on the four hour time frame um looking at this move here so top uh, bottom to top if we do start to retrace and btc goes on a little bit of run might take out on the, alt, um, the altcoin pairs too so if you're looking for buys ladder some in within around this area so you could say 4500 sats all the way up to four no sorry 5200 sats could be a nice area then we can look at targeting real-time highs of um, 6,407 Satoshis. And then look at these FIB extensions. We've got the DEF one at 66666 sats. And then we can look at 7,494 sats. So that are some potential buy zones there in the, the BTC pair and some sell zones. I think the first target though is getting up towards um, the all-time highs and we can go into some price discovery and even push up towards 10,000 sats, which would be a lovely level to target. Looking at the RSI, quite overbought at the minute, but that's good. We want it to be an overbought and stay overbought and keep creating some new all-time highs. If you're looking down the right-hand side here, everything's green at the minute, so it's a good day for crypto. Let's hope that we can maintain some bullish momentum and really start to push on. Like I say, once we do get to $5, which is up here, um, I will do some further price analysis. So um, if I forget, jump into my Telegram group, which is the Crypto Troops. Uh, give me a nudge and I will jump into some further price analysis. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you are not already, then please make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Um, smash that like button and I'll catch you next time.